Hey, everybody out in Facebook land, Design Pugs, this is your, this is your host, Colin. Arg. Tomorrow is Halloween, so we thought we'd have a little fun with some filters uh, just to get this, the show started. We'll probably turn them off because they're a tiny bit uh, distracting, probably. But um, glad you're joining us today. Um, so today we have with us uh, Bridget Mercado. She is um, a designer. Her, her company is DBM Interiors. And Bridget has been a member of the Pug Group for a while, and she has a really, really unique way of rendering. So we'll get into that a little bit later on. So first, I'm going to say hi to Karen, my co-host. Hi, Karen. You're looking pretty, pretty smart in that, in that uh, beret. Bonjour. Yeah, I got, my, got my Halloween costume on. <laughs> How are you doing, Colin? I'm doing great. Thanks. Uh, and of course, we have uh, Bridget. So Bridget, why don't you uh, say hello to everybody and kind of introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, hi, I'm Bridget. Um, I know some of you guys are ready from the pugs, but um, I am the owner of DBM Interiors. I have been, um, had that business since 2016. I'm a kitchen designer as well. I've been designing kitchens since 2004. Um, I pretty much uh, stopped working with a large company in order to, to go on my own right before COVID hit. So that was kind of a little distress. Um, and I just really wanted to up my um, rendering. I, I just couldn't get what I wanted to, the quality that I wanted to get. So um, I found another program that I can use and it really has upped my game. Um, I do have local clients. I do have e-clients now as well as I do renderings for the trade, as well as kitchen designs for the trade for other designers who might not know how to do kitchens or other kitchen designers that want or need a upgraded rendering. So that's what I'm doing. Super. So can you just kind of give a, a quick overview of, of what's involved? Um, how much of it's 2020? How much of it is, is other sort of packages? I like to specialize in kitchens. Um, I can do other rooms, but I prefer to do kitchen and baths. Um, so most of what I do is in 2020. It starts out in 2020. I don't do, I do zero rendering in 2020. I just basically do my layout, put my countertops in there, um, do what I have to do to take it over to SketchUp. Um, I, I do, that's all I do in 2020 now. Um, depending on which clientele I'm working uh, for, is gonna, the process will be a little bit different. If it's an e-client, they have to fill out a questionnaire. Um, they would need to send me measurements. And then I give them a free 30 minute phone consultation. And at that time, I've already have their measurements in hand and I would be able to quote them a price. If they're wanting to do a kitchen, um, I'm working with somebody right now in LA. So that's how we did that. Um, I send them a contract, they pay 50%. And then when I'm done with all the renderings and the jobs, then they would, you know, complete the payment. For the trade, it's a little different. It's actually easier. Um, I don't send them a questionnaire. Uh, they pretty much know almost what they want. They'll send me a little sketch. So if it's a designer that doesn't know how to do 2020 or kitchens, she would just send me a sketch and measurements and um, I would do the design. I will have a Zoom meeting with them to make sure the design is what they want, you know. Uh, so th but that Zoom meeting would be within 2020. I would show them the screen, make sure, okay, sink base, you know, dishwasher, three drawer base, or, you know, they might say, no, I want a four drawer, you know, whatever. So we'll go over the whole kitchen with them. Um, and then at that time, once that's approved, it goes into the rendering. If it is to the trade and it's somebody that's already in 2020, they just need to send me their kit file. They can do the design. It's a lot easier, a lot more cost effective. I'm not technically designing it. It is their vision, my rendering, basically. Um, whenever I work for the trade, I put their logo on all the paperwork. I'm basically like a ghost designer. So their, their clients know nothing, you know, so if they want me to put their logo on it. So I send them everything in PDF form um, all the renderings and, uh, you know, different views. I can even send a 360, which I can show you guys later if you want to. Oh, sure. Um, so. Yeah. So uh, I love the term ghost designer. I use that a fair amount because I have a few clients that I'm, I'm a ghost designer. I'm 
right. just in the background and uh, they're, they're taking all the credit. They're, you know, doing all the, all the, I'm okay the, with that. Heavy I lifting. Actually, yeah, I'm absolutely. fine with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's my well, favorite to do. Cause it's, it's the least pressure, isn't it? Yeah. I, yes, definitely. And, and, you know, most of not working with designers. It's really easy because you know, we speak the same language. So it's a lot easier. And I do have local clients too, that I still work with. I, I, uh, you know, still have local clients, but more and more that's becoming less and less, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking yesterday about too, how with 2020, because you start in 2020, then you've got that cabinet list that say, if you're working with a contractor or a builder, you've got that to hand over to them. Right. So that that's what I do. I, I, with with the drawings and the 2020 renderings and or the, the renderings and the 2020 design, they also get a cabinet list of everything that's in there. They get detailed elevations, they get detailed floor plans, they get a legend on everything. Nothing is hidden. I, I, I'm not going to just give them a floor plan with no measurements. They have to mm -hmm. double check everything. They have to make sure everything works. Um, because, you know, if they were off giving me a measurement a half an inch that could, what did we say, Karen, yesterday? That could be five cabinets? Yeah, five cabinets. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I give them everything. And yeah. I, I also, they get uh, revisions. Oh, okay. So if I'm working on somebody and they decided, oh, my client doesn't want yes. a regular sink base. They want a farmhouse sink uh, base. And I will, you know, I include revisions in my, you know, fees. Right. Right. So how many, how many revisions do you usually give as part of like the initial package? The initial package with the 2020 revisions, I give three revisions because, you know, how many times have you had a customer you do a kitchen for and then the first time you, it's done? Right. Very rarely. So right. people want revisions. And with the renderings, I give two revisions because by the time I am rendering, that kitchen should be, everybody knows what's in that kitchen. Right. Um, but, you know, I understand a client might say, well, I don't like that Carrera marble. I was thinking of a black granite. I think I want to see how that looks like. I get it. And, and really, that's not hard for me to change. Right. So I put right. three revisions with 2020 design and two revisions with the rendering. Right. So you're still getting, you're sort of getting the best of all worlds. You're getting the ability to have the the pricing from 2020 if it's a line that that does accurate pricing uh, right. which most you know most lines that that have 2020 catalogs they strive to give you uh, accurate pricing so you can use 2020 for pricing uh, for ordering after the fact but then you give them the the renderings that are just a, a cut above right and you know even if they decide well I want to go somewhere else they can take that list and those measurements and elevations and, you know, go somewhere else and shop cabinets or how my contractor's got somebody we're going to use. You right. have it all there, you know, it's, it's you know, so yeah. that's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So everything you're, you're approaching everything from design. Cause you know, as, as you know, and, and I believe you've been here, been there in your career, you know, there are a lot of folks that are still in the free design sort of model where folks come in and, and do, uh, you know, have them do a design. And then it's kind of a whole package The you know, you don't pay for the design as long as you're buying the, buying the product, but you're not doing the level of renderings that you do in that, in that situation, because it's just not worth the time. So, you nice. know, it's, it's, it's interesting. You know, one of the, one of the goals of this whole series is to show the, the wide variety of, of designers that use 2020 and, you know, the different ways that they use it and the way that you use it's very unique. So, um, of course, I'm, I'm, I know the answers to all of these questions I'm asking you, but this is for the benefit of the audience. So what, what does it look like? What do you take from 2020? What comes out of 2020 that, that, that allows you to render? You mean, what does it physically look like? Yeah, what's what's the what is what what part of um, what you design? I'm trying to I'm trying to do a leading question. Uh, what kind of um, like what comes out of it? Is it shapes? Is it is it what what comes out of 2020 that allows you to do the rent the start the rendering process? Well, when I do the 2020 before I can render it, I have to take it to SketchUp. And what I have to do to 2020 is I have to delete all the walls, all the windows, doors. I just need my cabinets, which are boxes. And if I'm doing, say, a, you know, a galley kitchen with an island, I'm going to take it in three different times because I'm trying not to take everything in as one block. 
what, because everything has to go through SketchUp before I can take it to the rendering program. So, and I want to be able to maneuver things or change things or, you know, so it's easier and it's faster for me to take it in three different blocks. So let's just say I would take the island and I would basically just, I create like a backup in case I lose something and I would delete the two galleys, take the island and take it into SketchUp. And then I would have to do a few things into SketchUp with it, not much. Um, you know what I have to do, reverse faces and, you know, which that's probably talking another language for people who don't know what, what I'm talking about, but it doesn't, it's not hard. And then once I do that, I'm able to bring it into the platform. When I bring it into the platform, I still need to assign textures or colors. So say I'm doing like a Kemper Blue Island, like I'm gonna show you guys. Um, the platform doesn't have Kemper Blue, but what I can do is I can take a screenshot of that paint color and I can turn around and put it in the platform and then I can paint my cabinets that color. I can attach it to that. I can do that with custom tile. I can, you know, so somebody wants a herringbone backsplash or a, you know, a subway tile backsplash. I can do that if they want to, this is my backsplash. This is what I picked for my client. I can take that exact backsplash and put it in the platform. These are the lightings. I can take that exact lighting, those exact bar stools. I can do all that. Um, you know, so it's pretty interesting. Yeah. So it's, you know, obviously in 2020, you have the ability to do custom textures and, and custom shapes, you know, from SketchUp and that sort of thing, but um, you don't necessarily need to mess with that. So just briefly, just, can you just, just expand a little bit on what the platform is for those that don't know? Well, it's um, the eDesign Tribe platform. Um, that's, you know, what I'm using. Um, I mostly use it just for my kitchens, but I do do other things with it. Um, Jenna Gestick, I, can't, I hate to butcher her name, <laughs> uh, butcher her name up, but she's involved with that. Uh, she is the founder of the platform. It's a wonderful platform. It really is. I couldn't do what I do without it. Um, it's very important for me to have this platform and to be able to show my clients and my, you know, other people I'm rendering for the quality of that. And the more you use it, the better you get at it. Um, some people struggle with it, but it's, it's really just, it's really a simple program once you need, once you get into it and dive into it and know the ins and outs, um, you know, so yeah. I, I find it easy to use. Um, it's not like a click away, you know, it's not like I can bring something in from SketchUp and it's all done. I have to play with the lighting and play with the textures and, and get things just right. And sometimes I'm a perfectionist. So if it's not just right, sometimes I just, you know, need it to be a certain way. So right. yeah, sometimes I'm all worse enemy on it. Yeah. But, uh, but it's, it used to it, be it, that, it's a great platform. It yeah, really it, is. And it I used to be that you, it used to be that you had to um, have some sort of really expensive rendering engine mm -hmm. in order to do the level of stuff that the, that the, the eDesign tribe platform can do. But, you know, with this newest technology all based in the cloud, yeah, it, it's all in the cloud. It, it, you know, you can do a 4K render like that. I mean, it's, it's really, really fast. You can do a pano you really fast. You can do a fast. 360 like that. And you, you can know, do a 720, I mean, which is, which is new, right? You can, what, what's a yeah, 720? I mean, there's so much you can do. It. It's so no. fast, you know, considering how long it takes you know, a lot of people in 2020 will say, oh, it takes so long. I don't want to do that. I don't have the time to invest in these type of renders, but you're already investing time trying to get it right in 2020. You know, right. I mean, it's, it's hard to get that lighting right. It's hard to get things right there. And, and even as at its best, it doesn't look realistic to me. Maybe it's because I'm already using this platform and this is my go-to. Um, they look great. But it's, it's still not at that quality where, you know, to me, the best compliment I can get is when somebody says, oh, my God, I thought that was real. That's right. the best compliment. Yeah. When somebody thought that was real. Yeah, that's that is really the uh, the ultimate test when somebody <laughs> is is, you know, that that, um, you know, fooled by it, that they think it's a it's a live uh, alive. Sorry, I'm looking at live. It's a it's a, um, you know, a photograph. Um, and I've shown people, you know, th that have just, um, you know, no, that are not in the industry at all. And they look at it and they go, wow, that's, that's, uh, that's amazing. I would have thought it was a photograph. 
And it's funny, Karen and I were talking earlier today. The um, I'm working on a secret project, not that much of a secret, but um, for 2020 NKBA. And um, it revolves around photos, photo shoots of, of existing spaces. And they're using a lot of augmented reality. So it's similar. It's not quite the same, but they're taking like plants and, and kettles and things like that and taking them and putting them into a, into a, a photograph. And that's how good the graphics are getting that you can, that you can do that. And you can't tell the difference between something that's digitally put in there and something that is, that is, but, but these renders for the platform, um, I recommend that, you know, anybody that, that, that watches this, uh, just check out, it's um, just edesigntribe.com. And, um, you know, it's the word letter E, the word design and tribe. And you'll see some of the renders. You'll see Bridget's, it's right on the fr- front page. One of your one of your renders is actually one of Bridget's renders behind me that she'll be showing us some more very soon. Um, and and it's it's just really, really neat. It's um, It doesn't replace 2020. In fact, 2020 is a vital part of this process. I couldn't do, I couldn't and, do what I do without 2020. Um, some people in the platform, I know that there are some designers who can draw cabinets and sketch up. But for me, I've been doing 2020 for 16 years. It's easy for me to get that design in there, get those boxes in there, get the hardware on there and countertop yep. and then take it over to the platform. Yeah. And you with know, the, that's with simple the, for me. With the, you know, it's not the entire Amarok catalog, but my gosh, so many of the Amarok um, knobs and pulls are available now that you can actually put some really good looking uh, stuff on there. And, right. and, you know, when you bring it into the platform and the platform doesn't really have any appliances yet either. It's really truly geared to just interior designers so it you know, really is that- but, you, know, you can you can download like in sketchup you know that's mm-hmm. download the appliances in sketchup and i'm able to bring them in the platform and there is a limit on how you know what you bring into the platform but once i save it it's it's there for me so i'll save ranges and you know and dishwashers and you know especially yeah. for some people i'm rendering for they're just like i just need a dishwasher Right. You know, but I can take that exact model and and, and save it in there. Right. So, right. Anything yeah. Furniture. yeah, I think with uh, 2020, one of the biggest problems for years is trying to control the lighting it can be very difficult where what you showed me yesterday looks very much like what's on my iPad Pro, where I actually have the choice of different lighting options. So and you can definitely change your lighting. Really I mean, great. And once you figure out the lighting part and all the ins and outs, because there's so much you can do, you know, it's just more than a light. Mm-hmm. You know, you can you can change the temperature, you can change the of uh, the light, you can change the height of it, you can change the wattage of it, you can change the size of it. You know, and, and, and I just mean, you know, you can change your background, you can make it lighter, you can make your background, you know, a lawn background or a beach background. I mean, there's just things that you can do. You can make it a dark background, like it's at nighttime. I mean, there's just really, it's just so much to explain. You know, it's just, it's really, a, it's really a phenomenal program. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of the program because it has up-leveled my business. Yeah. And that's, and that's, you know, what it's really all about. And, and again, there's that division in our industry of those that need to get quick renders to make a sale to get the product sure. out the door. And, you know, there's a lot of talk about the new easy render, the new rendering engine, which is just, it's just in beta testing format right now. Right. And it's only for those that have gone with 2020 design live. And it's really geared for those folks that need to get a quick render to get the product out the door. Um, right. Not everybody's designing... going to require this level right. of rendering. Yeah. Um, for e designers, for e, for my e, you know, clients, they do. Right. So that's Cause... why they're coming to me. Yeah. Um, but there are, you know, I do some renders for local cabinet companies too that I work with. You know, um, if they have a customer who really want, they know they it's an up level customer. They really want to show it, then they'll hire me to do a render. Right. Right. Yeah. And and then there are also those that have their own businesses that will sell design to a local person and then offer their their product. But because they're getting paid for their design services, it's it's really nice to get the sale of the product. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. So, you know, I think those those folks can benefit from this as well, because it, it allows you to set yourself apart. And, you know, then I think that if you're wowing them on the design side, then you're probably more likely to get the product sale too. Yeah. So, um, 
So would you like to show us some of the stuff that you've done? Sure. And another thing I want to say is the platform. I mean, the community of people there is just really supportive and, you know, there's just, it's just really a good, it's, it's a good platform to, you know, if you have questions or concerns or, you know, everybody's helping everybody. So, yeah, okay, let is. me share my screen with you and I'll show you some uh, renderings that I've just completed. Sure. Um, and I'll show you a view too, so. You let me know if you have it on there. Yep, you are there. Okay, so uh, this is a rendering that I did for my LA customer. I'm actually doing a kitchen, a family room, and a dining room. I just am not, you know, we're not all there yet. So I've gotten the, the kitchen and the living room down, and which you'll see because it's all one big open area. So I'm able to show how it's going to look. That's amazing. It's absolutely so beautiful. I give them several views of the kitchen, you know, close-ups, just so they can get an idea of how it's going to be. And of course, I like to accessorize. I'm not just trying to show cabinets. I yeah. want to put as if they're living in there. Right. You know, coffee pots and, you know, flowers and bottles of oil and cutting boards, you know, things that are going to be mm -hmm. in the kitchen. Yep. And your, and your composition is really good too. Like you, that's the other thing that, that, you know, with rendering of any kind, whether it be in the platform or in 2020, composition of the rendering, you know, the, mm -hmm. the placement of the camera at like a photographer would. Right. I that's think what is, I try very, to do. is very important because yeah. you want it to look like a photo shoot. You want it to people to look like, holy crap, my, you know, my kitchen, my space could look like a magazine, mm -hmm. you know, right. and that's, that's what you want it to look like. So you do a great job with that. Thank you. I actually learned from my photographer because I have a professional photographer that takes pictures of my local um, projects that are, you know, worthy of getting him in there and, uh, you know, some bigger ones. And I can see him all the time and he'll move something where to my eye, it looks really weird, but to the camera eye, it's going to look good, yep. you know, so little things like you know, if I have to, if I'm getting a shot somewhere else, I might move that vase of flowers out, or I'm going to take that bar stool and move it out and crook it a little bit. Cause that's how people sit, you know, that's, mm -hmm. I, you know, I want it to look like a real space. This is another view that's here. Great. So this shows you, you know, the way the marble is going to look and kind of, you know, shows you more. This is their actual backsplash that we're doing. They have some existing wow. furniture. So they were able to give me the, you know, the existing furniture that they have pictures and the, and, you know, I was able to put them in there and I found those through SketchUp. Now, do you do, do you, have you um, done any modeling um, of items in SketchUp yourself or do you pretty much? I just... have not, but actually I was just talking to another designer about that um, actually yesterday. And as well as my daughter. And I just said, I think, you know, at first I was like, you know, I can get away without modeling um, because I can put the exact cabinets and hardware, things like that, and appliances in there. But, and I can get pretty close with some things uh, like this, this chair and table is exactly what they have. But I'm thinking about going through the modeling class that they have. Um, Definitely, because I think, yeah, you know, worthwhile for sure. I think it's yeah. worthwhile. I'm just, yeah, just have not had the time to do it, but I know it's self-paced. Yeah, and the, the the reflections off the bottom of the light fixtures is just phenomenal. The the, you know, the the realism, and and you can achieve. I, I'd say you know, and I would um, you know defer to um, other folks that have done extreme. Uh, rendering in 2020, uh, Tony Johnson's another one, um, that, you know, you can get, I don't know, to 90% of this maybe in yeah. 2020, but you're spending the same amount of time. And quite honestly, when, because this lives in the cloud, your stability is greater. Right. You know, when you're, when you're modeling, when you're rendering to this level, and believe me, I'm in the middle of a project right now, Karen saw some of it this morning, 
where um, crashing and issues yeah. with textures and, and, you know, I had this silly thing where I had um, the, it's, it's actually one of the 2020 catalogs, it's the design plus catalog. And I had these, these deco doors that I could not get the cabinet color into the center panel. Uh, I literally, I literally combed through every single texture setting in the entire design that had to do with that catalog. And I could not. So I had these, these dark gray cabinets and there were a few that had white, that have white center panels. Now, of course it's 2020 and you can find a workaround for anything. So I went to the sample catalog and took a door from there and was able to get it to the point where it looked good. It looked, looks good, but I, you know, yeah. I had to do that, you know, where, where here you're taking and, you know, I'm, I, folks, I do knew, know a little bit about the eDesign Tri platform. Um, I know a guy that wrote a course actually on how to get stuff from 2020 to the platform. But anyway, um, when, when this leaves 2020, it, it's just all one texture. And then you deal with, uh, you know, it, depending on your situation, um, painted, you don't have to touch anything. You just bring it, you just, you just, um, clean it up a little bit in SketchUp and then you bring it into the platform and there you apply, like Bridget was saying, you apply the color there and you get this brilliant use of color. That's a nice, nice matte or satin finish where the light hits it nicely. And, you know, when you've done a fair amount of rendering, you start to understand, you know, some of these things and, and the more realistic it, it can look. So anyway. Right. And that lighting in the platform, you can take a, a light source that light source was normally not there. It wasn't wasn't there, and I was able to take that light source um, up the wattage of the light and then bring it down to where it was in the glass. Yeah. That way, it would illuminate. It right. wasn't there at first. You know, yep. I I brought it there. Right. I could bring under cabinet lighting in that way. I could do you know, there's you can do that lighting right. that way. A, a lamp you could do that way. If right. It's not showing you the way you want to. You can manipulate it, so it's pretty easy to do that. It's just another overall view. You want to see the, uh, this is a view from the island. So, if, you know, my client's wow. like, I want to know what it's going to look like from, if I'm standing at the island, you know, looking into the, the living room. Yeah, do you love the pool outside, Colin? That's, that's awesome. <laughs> Did you notice that? They do have a pool outside too. I don't yeah. know if it really looks like that though. I just I just grabbed a pool from SketchUp and stuck it in there because I'm yeah. not designing their patio. But you know, right. I just wanted to try to give them that visual of how it's going to feel. You know. Sure, sure. And their their um, their backgrounds outside are so much easier to use, uh -huh. and it's a, it actually curves. It curves around the space. So oh, yeah, and not, if I don't like know, this background, I might like this background, but I might want to see something else different than background. I could take that background and I can rotate it and it's going to show me different trees and I don't know, a bridge yeah. or whatever it's going to mm -hmm. show me. And my favorite background is the lawn background um, for me. But yeah, yeah, you can do the same thing with, you know, all the backgrounds. You can take the background and you can rotate it and it's going to show you different views of the back of that of that background. Yeah, it's really. So cool. if you want more trees showing through your windows, which I tend to like, some trees and some sky, you know, a little bit of both is what I tend to like. Okay, so this is a 360 view, and it's going to take a second, and it, it looks a little skewed, and it, sometimes it's a little slower to kind of pixelate a little bit, but not bad. I'll show you. It's just this is how it literally how long it takes to download it. It's not. Yeah. It doesn't take very long at all. Now, if I was selling products in there, it would basically, and you know, can, I can turn can the product hotspot on and it will tell me which products, but I, I don't have, I'm not. Right, but can you just briefly let people know what that is? Because that's a very, very interesting aspect of the, of the platform. If you were... Yeah, what, really, I, it's why it's, these it's pillows right here. These are from the tribe. And if I clicked on uh, one of these pillows, it's going to give, which I don't know if it's a Chinese price, but you know, it's going to give me a price. Yuan, on it. Which is, which is about, which is about a dollar. Um. <laughs> right. I don't know why it's like that, but you know. But <laughs> excuse me. So that's one of the, one of the reasons that the e-design tribe platform was created was to allow interior designers who are e-designers to be able to sell product uh, right. easily. And you can put that 
product in your rendering um, and, and, and then, you know, and it would be priced as that too. Right. I'm not, I, I'm not really pro- utilizing the, the rendering program or that part of the e-design mm-hmm. tribe like that. Um, like I probably should be because I'm just so focused on cabinets and, and what goes on in the kitchen. I'm not, you know, so it's, it, but right. it is something if you are just a designer and you want to have a, you know, another source of income or, or, you know, make a profit off of, you know, just, you know, the pillows or couches, sofas, they do have furniture in there. They have a whole library of stuff. Um, some stuff that, you know, you know, they, they got extensive library and they're building it every day right. too. And you can actually put your own in there too. So you can, if you were an Amazon affiliate, for example, and you had a faucet that sells on Amazon, you could right. actually put that link in this as a hotspot. So, you know, you could actually use this for passive income on your website. If you had just yes. had this as your portfolio on your website and you pointed to a few items, people go to that, oh, I like that faucet. And they click on, oh, I can buy it. You know, they go and buy it and you get a little little Amazon commission off of it. Or build.com has an affiliate program. You could do the same thing with, with build.com. So that's what Jenna has built really was, um, you know, for the ability to um, be able to also monetize other parts of your, of your design and your, um, you know, this is, this is awesome. So the other thing that you can do is, um, have you done any 720s yet? I have not done a 720 and I rarely do these, but I knew I wanted to show you this. Yeah, it's really, Uh, this is the dining room. This is not part of the, what I've done yet. But, you know, you can take your, you know, client around the room and show, you know, show them basically. I don't want to move too fast because I know there might be a lag, you know, on how things are going to relate, basically. That is so cool. So I'll just briefly describe what a 720 is. So a 720 is essentially two 360s that are that are intertwined together. And what you get is so if you were if you created a 720, so let's say you had that dining room completely done, then you could have another hotspot inside the dining room. It would bring you into the dining room and you it would open a 360 there. So it it it's not quite a walkthrough, but it allows you to have two hotspots. Inter, or two, two areas interconnected so that you right. can do um, basically a tour, basically a 3D tour of a space. Uh, it's, it's, it's super cool. I, I love it. And it's just, you know, it's just in its infancy right now. And I think that as, you know, and I think as, as Bridget, as you, you know, get faster at it and you, you, you know, are, are perfecting certain areas, then you'll be like, okay, well now I can take a little time and, and start, you know, putting products in there. So, I mean, the biggest thing to me that I see is stools. I, you know, people go, Oh, where do I get those stools? I'm like, I don't know. You know, I thought it was a cool looking stool. So I stuck it in there. Um, but imagine somebody could, you could go, Oh yeah, that's the blah, blah, blah stool. And all you can do is click on it and you know, you can buy it. Yeah. And anything that's through the e-design tribe platform that people buy, it's a 10% commission and that's no ordering, no warehousing, no shipping, nothing. All you're doing is all you're doing is basically just brokering the sale, and then somebody just goes in and buys it, and right, and you get a commission on it. So mm-hmm. it's really, really a neat. You know, it's 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 not really for us yet. I think that the that the kitchen and bath designer uh, part of the e design tribe is in its infancy because you know it's it's really primarily geared to interior designers. There's a right. lot of pillows, a lot of chairs, a lot of tables, a lot of, you know, a lot right. of stuff like Very, that, yeah. that. There's a few bar stools, but other than yeah. that, I would need an affiliate program to get a, more of what I would want to sell. There are some light fixtures, of course, Yeah. but for an example, that's why I need to learn the modeling class, because if I can put the exact bar stool in there, this is a, a real close of it, you know, it's pretty close from what we selected size wise and shape wise and everything, but it is not exact. If I can model the exact, then I could, you know? Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, I, I've started working in it a little bit, mostly um, 
sort of self-taught uh, just out of necessity. You know, I started by just taking stuff that was in the 3D warehouse and manipulating it to look like the way I needed it to. Um, yeah. And I actually have a, a course that I, you know, part of my, my master classes is, is, you know, how to do that, how to take something and to just kind of manipulate it the way you need I've it. I've done but, that too, yeah. But I've, I've gotten to the point where, so the, the project that I'm working on right now, there's a kitchen that I had to model that has these funky angled cabinet doors and they just did it just to be fun. And there's no way that I could have done it in 2020, literally no way I could have done it in 2020. So I had to go into SketchUp and model the doors myself. And it's, it's pretty neat. Once you, once you start learning how to do it, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of the simplest things to do just to create a polygon and, and, you know, extrude it so that it's three quarters of an inch thick. So it's a, you know, but you know, once you get into it, it's a, it's a blast. And it's crazy. Cause I have a fear of it. You know, it's like, I tell my daughters, I'm not very computer savvy. And they go, what are you talking about? You are. And I go, no, really, I'm not. I know 2020 and now I know this program, but I'm not technically computer savvy. Like, but, you know, it's, so it's, it's a little intimidating for me to do that. But I know that Sarah teaches the class and yeah. I heard a lot of good things about, you know, her class and the teachings and how wonderful people have been raving about it. So I'm like, I think I'm going to, you know, bite the bullet and do that soon. Yeah. And then that way you, then that way the sky's the limit. You can, anytime somebody wants something and you charge for it, you know, it gives you an additional tool in your tool belt that you can, oh, you yeah. can charge and, and for, you, can, you know, a lot of people do that. A lot of designers will do that. Yeah. You know, uh, if I can also sell that service to other designers, if you want me to build that, uh, you know, lamp for you or that bar stool for you, it's going to be $25, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yep. there are designers that, that are certified modelers um, with the E-Tribe too. Yeah. So if I needed something to be modeled, absolutely right now, I could hire one of them to do that. Yeah. Uh, full disclosure, I actually signed up for Sarah's class. The, um, oh, did you? The modeling class. I haven't done one session. <laughs> I've been way too busy. Um, but it's I'm there. Afraid that's what I'm going to get it's, into. It's I don't want to buy something it. right now unless I have a little bit more time, but it's just like... Yeah, I'm not but, having the time, you know, with, I have a couple of local clients. I have a couple of, you know, e-design clients and, you know, I have a, you know, one or two other 2020 clients right now. And actually I have a training that I'm doing on Monday uh, to train somebody in the platform. Um, that's awesome. How to make 2020 cabinets because they're in yep. 2020. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, and I've got, you know, a husband and grandkids, you know, I just got life going on and I'm like, sure. you know. It's yeah. hard. Make is, Harry, time. is Harry Potter there today? Harry. <laughs> I locked him out of his bedroom. Like he has his own bedroom, really. <laughs> he has his own bedroom with a, um, a full-size bed that looks out to the front yard. So I closed that door because sometimes he gets like barks and I didn't want him to bark. So I closed the door. So he, he also has a doggy door. So actually he's outside. It rained all day yesterday. It's actually so, been snowing here all morning. Oh my God. Where are you at? New Hampshire. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, we usually don't get snow this early, but you know, we did get a We did get a big snowstorm on Halloween a few years ago, but, uh, but yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. It's new England. Um, so that's interesting. Um, oh yeah. So what I was going to say was about, about courses like Sarah's, you know, it's, it's just there. You know, you sign up for it and you can do it anytime. You can do it 10 minutes at a time, you know? So that's what, you know, that's the beauty of the, of the on-demand courses. That's what my master classes are like. You can just go in and just do 10, 15 minutes at a time and then move on to something else, you know, and, and, or, or go and learn something and then practice it and then move on to something else. So that's the nice thing about Anything sure, she's not, there if you have questions or, yeah, you know, you, right. is there a platform? I haven't gotten deep into it where, because sometimes I feel like I need a little more help, you know, where I yep. have a question on how to do it or I can't do something. So I know that, you know. Yeah, yeah, that they're there. And they just completely revamped the e-design, e-design U, which is their their online um yes. their online yeah, school. Yeah, they have the e-design the campus it's, and all and that. It's, yeah, they, it's they really cool. Yeah. And I recommend anybody that's watching this just, just for the heck of it, go to um, edesignu, the letter u.com. And it's a virtual campus. They actually built this entire campus uh, using the eDesign tribe platform. So there's, yeah. there's buildings and 
And it, it's really, really cool. Hey, Harry. Uh, <laughs> Harry's in here now. Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry he has Potter. his own Facebook page. Harry, <laughs> stop, stop. Harry say hi. There he yeah. is. Oh, hi, buddy. Harry. <laughs> oh, he's man. He's another dog. He's, he's... Hey, don't be stop, stop. stop. <laughs> yeah, he's. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> no, this is live. He's a, he's a big boy. I miss my doggies. But anyway. Um, so there's um actually there's a question here in um the comments of the video on the, the Facebook page. Um so Kristen asked, uh, Bridget, how long does it take you start to finish to complete a render? I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. okay. It's all right. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was the question? So um, Kristen asked, how long does it take you start to finish to complete a render? It depends on the simplicity really of the room. Um, typically it takes me about, God, it just depends on what I'm doing for the kitchen. Um, hey, stop that. <laughs> um, I would say it takes me probably about eight to 10 hours. Just was, because, um, you know, it, it depends, you know, is the ceiling vaulted and, you know, how much furniture am I putting into it? How much detail am I putting into it? How big is the kitchen? Just, it's like me asking you how long does it take to design a kitchen? Uh, you know, it could take 30 minutes. It could take, you know, two days. Right. Um, right. So. Yeah. I yeah. think that, you know, the question, if the question is how long does it take um, to complete a render as far as once you send it, to the rendering to the renderer it's just minutes you know it depends yeah on... it's, it's a well it's a little bit more than minutes for me yeah i'm it... very particular and you have to get the lighting right and you have to get your scenery right and it's not to me i don't normally just pop something in and it's good to go yeah i've got to yeah. do other things to it right but, no you know, but probably once, but I mean... to get it render ready probably an hour for me yeah but then once it's but then once you say it's render ready and you hit go it's only a couple of minutes Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Just a couple seconds. Yeah, yeah. I render it and it just does its thing. Yeah. The, the one thing I really love and, and hopefully um, the folks at 2020 Santiago, if you're listening, um, will implement this. And I think this will be implemented in the easy render later on um, as the, the controls become available, but it's available. It's the availability to just click 16 by nine. I want to do a 16 by nine and I want it in 4k and it's just a couple of clicks and you know, it's, it's, it, it renders it that way for you. I love right. that that capability. Or you can do it four to three, or you can do it square. If you want to do an Instagram post and you want to yeah. do it square, you just tell it, I want to do it square. Right, and, yeah. You know, right. I, we have those options too, different sizes of screens that we want to use. Right, that's what I mean. It's in the platform, yeah. So that's, what, platform that's what, yeah, that's what I love about that is the, um, is the ability to, to, you know, just select all those different things. Because nothing's um, more frustrating than taking your kitchen render and putting it in Canva because you want to put it on Instagram and half of your kitchen's cut off right. because you didn't get the view right. So really yep. in the platform, you can get, you can go to your one-on-one -on -one view and you can look at it and see how it's going to look before you take that, exactly. you know, yeah. before you actually render it. And I do yeah. a lot of test yeah. renderings too. It's amazing when you test render because it saves all that and you can go into your very first render to your very last render and you're like, oh my God, like you can see how it has evolved. Right. You know, the lighting and the textures or maybe things you've changed. And it's pretty amazing. Yeah. And there's and a monthly just takes seconds for that to render whatever when you're done. It's just really right. not that long. And it, it sometimes, but there's a queue, right? If somebody else is trying to render something ahead of you, it'll, you'll actually have to yeah, get in line. I and, a few times, really. Yeah. I mean, I, sometimes I'll have it while well, I'll be in queue, but not often, really. I mean, I haven't had a big problem with that. Yeah. Maybe, uh, even I still, it only lasts a few time. seconds, so it's not, you know, it's just yeah, a few I seconds extra. Yeah, I think one time it was like deal. just maybe five minutes. I mean, you know, that's fine. I usually just get up, do something else. Yeah. And we'll you have a right. limit, a monthly limit, right, on the 4Ks that you can do and uh, and the panos, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's a monthly limit on the 4Ks, and I can't tell you how much that is because I never get to the monthly limit. Yeah. I've never expanded my limit. Most, uh, you know, my 4K renderings are on a final project. You know, so when I'm doing test renderings and all that, I can get great renderings, which is standard. Um, 
when I actually send my clients or other designers their PDF, then I'll upgrade everything to the 4 4K. Right. But, uh, you know, I haven't, I've never overused my 4K rendering. Maybe I need to be busier. <laughs> well, I think, you know, the, 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 a lot of the designers that use it, they're, they're, you know, they're doing complete interior spaces and, you know, they're doing a lot of smaller, I think, projects. So, you know, I think that their quantity is more important to them just because of the nature of their projects. You're doing fewer large projects yeah. and they're doing, you know, more projects, small projects. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but it's, it's not, it's, it's a pretty high limit still, I think. Yeah. But neat. Um, so Karen, anything, uh, anything that you want to add or ask or. Look, we kept our costumes on the whole time. We did. I know. Yeah. I love the beret. Um, I love the kitchen behind Colin. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that one? That was actually a loft here in Louisville that I did uh, for a customer. Um, and yeah, it was just an open loft over here and it's called Germantown. So uh, they turned some old uh, buildings. It used to be an antique. It actually used to be an old cotton factory and then they turned mm. it into an antique mall and then they turned it into condos. So... Mm. So like I used a lot to of live brick. there before I bought this house and I met the guy, one of the guys who lived there and he ended up buying his unit and he asked me if I would do his kitchen. And so, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. lovely. It's really pretty. Yeah. It's, 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 it was a fun project. I really like it a lot. I really enjoyed that one. Cool. You know, I, so I love the work you do. I think it's just fantastic. Uh, so. Thank you. And you yeah. know, a lot of a lot of uh, kitchen designers or designers, they don't have the time or they don't have the, you know, to do all that. They'd rather source mm -hmm. all that out. And you know, that's where I come in. Where they if they want to source their renderings out or their kitchen designs out with these 4K renderings, then you know, that's what I do. And and a lot of designers do source their work out. They, they're doing other things, you know, they're, they're doing other things. They don't want to sit in front of a computer and render and make it look pretty. You know, they'd rather, all right, I'm just going to hire you to do that for me. Right. Yeah. They'd rather just do their, their, you know, look, um, shop the look boards and things like that. And, and, uh -huh. you know, the, the final ones are, you know, it's, it's like, it's like anything that you do in a, in a, um, it, frequently. It's like, you know, it's like, for example, a cabinet installer, somebody who's somebody who's a cabinet installer is installing cabinets every day. And, right. you know, if you're a contractor, you're pretty smart to hire a, to hire a, a, an installer because that installer oh, is yeah. going to get done quickly, efficiently and, and right. And right. it's the same thing as what you do. You know, you're, yeah. you are specializing in this. So it takes you, takes you less time. It, you're more accurate and, you know, people can do what they do best. And that's really the takeaway. Everybody should do what they do best and right. leave what they don't do best to somebody else. And it makes it, it makes everybody more efficient. Right. And some people don't want to take the time to learn the program, you know, because mm -hmm. not everybody, you know, a lot of designers that are sourcing this work out, they're not e-designers. They're not re learning this program. They're not trying to do this program. They have a whole house they're doing and they want to show great kitchen renders or they want to show renderings of a, their living room. And this is the furniture I've done uh, designs for, you know, not kitchens, but like living rooms, dining rooms and all that for other designers. And they're like, you know, they email me, this is the furniture. This is, this is what I'm doing. This is the size. This is the paint color. And, you know, so I prefer to do kitchens, but I'm not, you know, turning down that part either. But, you know, I, I feel like my expertise is with the, the, the cabinets, basically, because right. that's what I've always loved to do. Yeah. When and, I first started yeah. doing design, I was with an interior designer and I got into kitchens. And I remember one of the um, ladies who was a kitchen designer, she rented up, she rented a room where our business was and I was helping the interior designer I was his assistant and um fresh out of school and she was a kitchen designer she didn't know 2020 and I remember the rep trying to get her to do 2020 and her not doing it and I would go up in her room in her office for an hour and do elevations and perspectives because I was fresh out of school I could do a perspective pretty quickly at that time and um and then I moved about a year later to Kentucky and I thought you know what I want to know what 2020 is about and I want to know kitchens 
because it sparked my interest enough to, I wanted to know about it. And I thought I'm going to get a job and I'm going to learn it. And that's, I'm going to, um, that's going to be my niche, you know? And I went and got a job and at Home Depot and stayed there 16 years and learned as much as I could and ended up training other designers. And, you know, so it was a good experience for me. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, so 2020 kind of sparked your interest in the whole kitchen design thing. That's really how it got. Yeah. And, and when I moved to Kentucky, I'm like, I don't want to work for another design. I don't want to pick up pillows. I, I you know, that to me, I, I can do it, but I, it's not my love. You know, I, I like the hard side. I like the cabinets, the countertop, the hardware. Mm -hmm. I do like, you know, things that go in the kitchen, bar stools, floating shelves, uh, you know, you know, vent hoods lighting you know but that's where i find the joy of it yeah and there are those not that necessarily say, the, you know duvet covers and pillows and you know i i can do that but it's and and you know i i like to do it but i love kitchens that's my that's my love that's where i feel like i can strive because it's not just a pretty picture it's functional it can work yeah. i can give you detailed plans i can give you elevations i can give you you know the works of it it's not just a pretty picture right. it can fit don't, in your picture don't you and think I can that, show you that, yeah that technical yeah. part colin is so important it is and that's yeah. what i think a lot of people that that try dabbling in kitchen design don't get that that yeah. is a i'm hearing my voice echo that's weird anyway i hear something um, yeah yeah anyway the um uh Sorry, completely lost my train of thought there. Because <laughs> I hear my own voice. I'm like, oh. Um, <laughs> um, what were we? No, seriously, what were we just talking about? The there? technical part of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of people. You can do a kitchen oh, yeah. right Sorry, now, yeah. but is it, it, is it gonna yeah. is it gonna fit? Does it right. work? Yeah. yeah. Does it yeah. work? Yeah. Does it work? Yeah, What's exactly in that render? Do you got to yeah. pull out trays, roll out trays? You know, three drawer, four drawer. You pull out yeah. pantries. You know, is this awful? What what is it? What is what is actually in there? Right. You know, right. And that's one thing that 2020 does for me is I know exactly what is in that kitchen, and I right. can you know give you an item list of exactly what's in that kitchen. Sure. I think yep. now yeah. too, the big thing is will the refrigerator drawers open? You know, sure. do you actually have proper clearances? The, there's so many things so that you have that technical background that you know all about. Right. So I think that elevates your renderings to another level because you actually have accuracy, not only beauty, but you get the accuracy of the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I, I think so too. I think yeah. that's what sets me apart. It's mm -hmm. not just a pretty kitchen picture. It, right. can, it, it works. Yeah. You know? and, and, you know, it's, we're, we're the only part of the design industry where, you know, no, you know, going into a room, oh, that room's like, I don't know. It's like 15 and a half by 13 and a half. Yeah. I can't put cabinets in that room. If that's all you can tell me, then I can't put cabinets in that room. You know, yeah, I need right. to know that it's, I need to know that it's 15 feet, seven and three quarter inches. Right. And, you know, and, and there are people that don't get that. Uh -huh. There are people that say, well, I've got a, you know, I've got about a 13 and a half by 15 and a half room. You know, what, 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 you know, what can you do for cabinets? What's going to be the, you know, what's the cost? I don't know. You know, you get me, you get me exactly where the window is on that you know, on that wall and that exact length of that wall. And, and then I can tell you a little bit better, but, um, but yeah, you need I have to, you a need form to... that I send my e-design clients, um, you know, that basically is how to measure your room, you know, and it's a PDF form, how to measure a room and how to take before pictures. Cause pictures are a thousand, pictures are worth a thousand words. I them. mean, really it's, it's, it's very important for me to have pictures if they have them. But, you know, I need to know where that window is, how far off the floor it is, how thick is the window frame, you know, you have to know all of these. Now, when I take everything into the platform, the platform is not as exact as 2020. I can't say, you know, 136 and 316 inches, you know, or, of something. But I know that with my renderings, they are also getting the 2024 plan and elevations and, you know, the technical part of it. Yep. So with the, with the platform, you kind of have to round up or down a little bit, but, um, you know, with my renderings, they are getting the technical part of it too. Right. So, well, it's been fun. Yeah. Thank you so much for, for being here. Um, it's, it's super interesting, you know, how you, how you do your business and, 
and um, you know, I, I knew that this would be something that the that the the group would would enjoy seeing. So, so thank you. Um, so, Karen, did you have anything? Oh, Karen's gone. <laughs> Karen, Karen, Karen's gone. heating guy. Karen. They're heating guys there. Karen, Karen has no off. heat, folks. <laughs> Karen has no heat, folks. She went to um, Paris with her beret. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Um, so yeah, well, thank you for being here. And, and, um, so I just want to let everybody know that next week, um, many people know Maria Staprofena. She is, uh, from Tewksbury kitchens in New Jersey, and, um, she's on the, the 2020 design council with me. So she will be here with us next week. Um, Yay. so thank you everybody for joining us. And unfortunately, Karen isn't here to sign off, but, uh, I, Bridget and I will sign off and we will see you soon.